All right, I've got a vegetarian dish on the menu, packed full of flavour. We're doing a cauliflower tikka masala curry. So look at all these flavours here. We've got tomatoes, capsicums, ginger, and all these spices here. So it's going to be pack a punch of flavour. We've got cashew nuts in there and no meat in sight, but we've got this cauliflower. And to get extra flavour into our cauliflower, we're going to cut it down and we're going to roast it. It's going to be fantastic. You'll never go back to chicken tikka masala again. Now, welcome to the Blanco Kitchen. And Mark, you've got a vegetarian version of a favourite Indian dish. Well, we certainly have. So we've got a cauliflower tikka masala. Yeah. So it's great. So we've got all the flavour, all the texture, without any meat in Also, there. you've got a new sous chef. And a new sous chef, yeah, I'm yeah. very excited. Yeah, me too, because I was in the kitchen last week with Vanessa, but I have not cooked with you for quite some time. Right. Hold on so tight then. So what's going on? What can I do? I want right. to help. So, first of all, we're going we're gonna to start the sauce. Okay, so, so going to spit at me? Uh, probably, okay, yeah. Okay, I'll just stand back a bit. You go. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of oil in here, we've got some mustard seeds. So we're going to get them in, and we're going to just stir them around, and we want to toast them, release all the flavour. Okay. okay, how do I know when they're toasted? Um, you, you'll, um, you'll start smelling it. You'll see them, they'll start oh, popping. Crikey. There you and go. Just, popping just on cue there. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So we okay. need a little bit of. Uh... Yep, they're popping everywhere, Mark. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm really outdoing myself today. Okay, right. Right, so we're going to start adding some ingredients in there. Yeah, okay. Just whilst there's still some mustard seeds. Shall, in the they're popped all over the bit. Shall I put it back on the heat? Uh, yeah, you can put it back on the heat now. So what we're going to do, uh, I've got some um, onions, some green chilli there. We're going to get that in. Just going to start cooking that. You know, okay. just, all you need to cook it is two or three minutes. Just getting the flavours out there. Just softening these onions. Uh, we're going to blend it all into a sauce. So don't worry about um, getting them all nice okay, and so fine. Okay, so nice and No, soft. just rustic. Um, um, what sort of hot heat do you have it on? Uh, just nice heat? medium heat. Um, I've got some ginger there, so you yeah. can um, microplane that into the uh, onions. Oh, do you want me to do that? Yeah, you can do that. I'm trusting you. That one? Okay. Oh, hang on. And then we've got some garlic as well. <laughs> just take the plastic cover off it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. We're under control. Under control. Yeah. Okay, so microplane this and try not to actually grate my knuckles. You can, you can actually do it on the, the, the larger one? one if you want. Yeah, okay. that, that's yeah. fine. It's, Thanks. It's all going in. I really don't want to get my knuckles in here. Oh, this ginger smells incredible. Oh, it's brilliant. So why so, am I grating this and not just chopping it in chunks? Because um, it's giving you something to do. It's better. It's, keep, it's, it's keeping me out of trouble. No, no, but it's, it? it's a really easy way. You know, you can just yeah. square it off and you just grate it and look how fast you're doing that. So how so much should I do this? Uh, that's probably good. Okay. So just on. turn it turn it over. We'll scrape that off there. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it smells delicious. Okay. Right, so fast keep it on a medium it. heat. You just keep, um, keep stirring, stirring, stirring it. Um, if it's a little bit dry like that, don't be scared. Just add another little splash of oil. Okay. It just helps with the um, brown and the colouring. Oh. So a couple of minutes on there. And then I'm going to get the base of this, or the, the liquid part of the sauce and more flavour. So we've got a red capsicum. Right. So we're just going to chop so that this, up. So this is the base of the sauce is what we're doing right here? Well, it's all for the sauce. Right. So we're getting some flavours in the sauce there. And then we're going to start making uh, a liquid part of the sauce. Oh, good. That's a fun bit. We're going to get to blend some stuff. Right. So we've got some capsicum going in there. I've got some tomatoes going in there. Right. I'm going to put some coriander in as well. Okay, great. And uh, coriander. some coconut cream as well. So that all goes so in there. Are these typical Indian flavours that you're putting in here? That is, isn't it? The coriander is a big one. Yeah, yeah. Coriander. We've got cashew nuts as well, so that's going to help thicken the um, uh, the sauce after. I love the way uh, you And then, then we've got cashews. all these spices, which we'll uh, talk about in the second Ooh, segment. Oh, nicely laid out too. So that goes on there. Mm -hmm. Right, then. turn it on. Can you make it work? Do you need me to come oh, help you, Mark? Plugged in. Do you want to switch it on? <laughs> plug it in first. It's Here's a tip. You plug it in. You're right. <laughs> All right, that goes on. Blend that up there. And then we'll give this another minute or so, get those yep. flavours out, and then we're going to actually add that to this okay. and blend it all together. And we want to blend this so it's nice and smooth, and then we can carry on with our okay. sauce so and add some more flavours. Yeah, pop that into the blender now. Okay, pop that in very quickly now. Or oh, do you want to do this? Oh no, I'm no. worried I'm going to spill it everywhere. Okay, oh, that's some <laughs> upper arm strength, isn't it? Okay. Brilliant. Excellent. Brilliant. We'll get that blended, and then uh, we'll come back and finish our dish. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. We are in the Blanco kitchen to finish up Mark's tikka masala. So, this is the sauce that we started up earlier. Yep, that's it. So we've got yeah. the mustard seeds in there, if there's any left. Yeah. Uh, we've got the, the onions, beach, the garlic, the ginger, and then all the, um, the tomatoes and the pepper and Oops. the coriander, and a little bit of coconut, all blended together. Okay, yeah. Then it goes back in there. We're going to bring it to the boil, simmer it, get all those flavours going together. That's really good. Uh, and then we've, we've got a pan on, which is warming up now. Um, so I'm just going to make some little pieces of cauliflower. So if you just cut the cores out. Oh, no, you if can, you just cut the cores out. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. And then you can, you, know, you can just go around. Just nice pieces. 
Just little chunks you could break yeah. up with your hands if you wanted little, to. Little chunks, like bite-sized chunks, you know. What what would be nice yeah. if you just roasted the whole cauliflower like in the oven? Oh yeah, and basted it in oh, some spices that'd be nice. and then made this sauce it changes separately. Changes the flavour. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, it's so good. And so you, you got to add some spices and things. In yeah, here. So and what, what are all these ones? We've got some spices in here. So um, do you know what these are? Uh, oh no, it's not <laughs> I'm not doing this I to mine. I'm going in here. Right, so we got some turmeric. 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 Salt. Salt. Paprika. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Chili. Other stuff. Chili, uh, yeah. garam masala, cinnamon okay. in there, and some ground coriander oh, as well. Oh, yeah, do I just put it all yeah. into the sauce? Pop, pop it all in there, give Nothing's it a really good stir. Me, no, 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 okay. no. It's... Just checking, <laughs> just checking, okay. So why do you put the spices in so late? Is there a reason for that? Uh, we just want to get all those fresh flavours in first, and then we put the spices in, and then they're all going to cook down into the sauce and sort of blend in together. Okay, do you want me to keep stirring this, or can I just leave it to No, you can just leave bubble. it now, that's fine. Okay. What we're going to do, so that pan should be nice and hot now, so a little the bit of um, oil, oil in there. No, that's okay. Right. And then um, get that oil hot as well. Okay. So always when you want to roast something with a high heat, you know, get your pan hot, put the oil in, and just give it another sort of 20 seconds or so for the oil to get hot. And okay. then when you put your cauliflower in. Is that hot enough? Yeah. It's sizzling. That'll so, do, surely. We've only got a limited <laughs> amount of time here, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Get the cauliflower in the pan. So cauliflower's going to go in the pan. And then you want to really roast it on a really nice high heat. Get some colour on there, because okay. as you said before, you know, we get that colour on there, the roasted colour, we get an amazing flavour. Right. And then it's going to be half cooked as well. We'll finish off the sauce, taste it, finish them um, with some fresh uh, coriander Excellent. chopped in there, and a little bit of. Um, do you need me to crush some nuts? Cashew nuts, nuts. yeah. Bless you. Okay. <laughs> so what do I do? Just stick them in there and just give them a bit of a crush? Yeah, a really good crush. We want that to be into a powder, and that's going to help thicken our sauce here. This is therapy. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with a little How bit of uh, salt they be? Um, into a fine powder now. Oh, jeepers. Really crush them. No Ooh. texture here. That cauliflower is smelling amazing. Who needs to go to the gym when you can do this? <laughs> okay, jam, jam. Okay. Keep going. Keep right, going. I'm going. It's, this is hard you know, there's a top tip for you now. Could you not if you put don't want to do blender? this, well, you could put them in blender or you could just buy them already crushed. <laughs> now he smells <laughs> up. Okay. Okay, right, okay. Well, they're going to be fine enough because we're just about running out of time. So you can see we're getting a little bit of colour in there yeah. now. Yeah, okay, I'll just keep pounding these for a little bit longer. This recipe, don't forget, it's on our website if you want to try it at home tonight. I'm so glad that your meal today is vegetarian <laughs> after watching that. Yeah.